listen to the stories. And I will say this, I've never had better teachers than I had at Stony Brook. Remember your youth. I want them to know how grateful I am. I, 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 at this end of my life, now I go back and I think about the investment that they made, what I learned, and um, it's, it's priceless. The Stories of Generation. But Stony Brook was something that you just poured your life into. Stories of Faith. I got my sense of calling while I was there. Remember those who taught character. It was in 1909 that the first meeting of Stony Brook Assembly met. Cherish what you learned. You walk by his classroom, you might find him under a desk or on top of a desk or with some kind of a uniform on. Share your heritage and roots. I remember walking down to the village and people rushing up saying they bombed Pearl Harbor. And where is Pearl Harbor? We didn't, we didn't know. Remember the pranks. Somebody put flour in the organ <laughs> and they fired that thing up and, and he had this great cloud that came up. Stories of character. He took responsibility for the learning process. That's character. Now that's just a little thing, but 50 years later, I thought it was wonderful. I mean, I think uh, it was a privilege. And I really mean that sincerely, it was a privilege. Laugh, feel. And I just hope our students and faculty, 50, 100 years from now, will still feel that way about what they get at Stonebrook. Generations of Character, a feature-length movie of Stony Brook's early generations, premiering Alumni Weekend in Carson Auditorium. Come and remember. <laughs>